<laughs> All right, we've got Idaho head coach Don Verlin, student athletes Mike Scott and Stephen Madison. Coach, we'll start with you, opening comment, and we'll take some questions. Well, what a great run, win for our program tonight. Uh, couldn't be happier for the guys sitting to my right here, especially Stephen Madison and Mike Scott. Uh, I thought Steve again played a well of a game, and, and Mike gave us a, a lot of energy tonight and a, a boosted scoring lift, no question about that. But uh, couldn't be happier for all the guys in the locker room, all the Vandals who have waited so long for this, and, and even though it's a little bittersweet because we're leaving the WAC, uh, couldn't be more proud of what we've been able to accomplish, especially the last six weeks of the season. Go ahead and take some questions. If you got a question, please raise your hand. We'll bring the microphone over to you. Uh, Coach, two really close meetings even before this, obviously, and what turned this for you tonight, and how did you uh, keep Stephen calm, or how did Stephen keep himself calm despite all that foul trouble? Oh, you're probably going to have to ask him that question. Um, you know, we played very well. Uh, we played really well at, at Utah Valley about three weeks ago, and... Um, you know, tonight uh, the ball just kind of bounced our way. Uh, we did a lot of really good things. I thought we got a lot of key defensive stops. So we, we rebounded the ball pretty well. We didn't turn it over. You know, we just played good. And uh, we beat a very good Utah Valley team tonight. Uh, I don't know if there was any one thing that we did any different in the first two meetings. Uh, uh, we, we just found a way to get it done tonight. Coach, yesterday you hit 10 of 15 three-pointers today. They, there were only 4 of 15, I believe. What were you able to do defensively to limit their looks on the perimeter? You know, you got to you got to credit our, our, our players on that. Um, you know, in our shoot-around, we stressed challenging shots. Um, we, we, tried, we played our zone a little differently than we had in the past. We played it outside in tonight, and our guys did a great job flying at shooters. Um, you know, I thought our ball screen defense was superb tonight, and and what we what we really did is we challenged all those shots and, and kind of got them off the rhythm. But probably more importantly than that, our our defensive intensity was as good as it's been all year. We were able to force them two or three steps beyond the arc to start their offense, and I really thought that was a key uh, to starting our defensive intensity and to starting our defense. And I think that helped with the three point percentage. Mike, uh, you've been starting at point guard for you know uh, a little over a month now, I think. Um, just talk about, is tonight really the night where you, you felt like it came together for you offensively as the starting point guard? Uh, yeah, definitely. But um, going back on what Coach talked to us about in the locker room, well, all year he's been telling us, you know, be aggressive, be aggressive. But, you know, considering the fact that this could have been our last game, if, um, it seemed like when he told us to be aggressive, it was a little different this game. So I just, you know, took that in mind and I just went out next year. Uh, for Steve, uh, talking about the foul trouble early on, what did you kind of do uh, there in the second half to, to kind of turn things around? And what did uh, what, what did Coach tell you? You know, they just you know told me to keep being aggressive, and then on defense, just to, um, you know get my position early on D, and you know be aggressive on D early instead of getting behind my man and being a little lackadaisical and getting in, you know stupid fouls that I got in. So just to you know do that. Steven, certainly an, an emotional win for you guys, but you, you've got an even more important game tomorrow. How do you kind of balance celebrating this win versus preparing for tomorrow? I mean, you got to celebrate a little bit after the game and, you know, be happy and, you know, keep our emotions high and our confidence high, but then, you know, get to work tomorrow, tomorrow morning, you know, when we sit down and figure out who we're playing. Is, is this as well as the team has played in your four years here and, and why? Um, you know, probably we're coming together great right at the end. And, you know, that's what we worked through all year, you know, every day, get better. That's what Coach has been telling us. And our, I think our team chemistry has come together really well, and we're starting to play good as a unit, and that's, that's what's showing on the court. This, when they cut it to a, a tight game in those last 10 minutes or so, how, how much were you drawing on the experience of those first two games against Utah Valley? Oh, I mean, you know, it comes down to it. You just got to make plays. And, it, you know, we didn't make the plays the first two games. So, you know, this game, they just, they just fell for us, and it, it felt good. Thank you. Don, they got a lot of backdoor baskets, some layups, some dunks in that second half. What were they doing particularly well to, to get some plays there? Well, Dick, obviously Dick's a very good coach, and, and, and that was kind of our game plan is to make sure we were playing it outside in and, and, and make them make some backdoor cuts. But they were running their inside screening game where they, were, where they were what we call their power game, and they were screening our center or screening our guy inside and curling around with the little guy. It's really hard to guard. 
Uh, we were trying to switch it. Uh, we tried a number of different things, and, and uh, you know, what, what we were focusing in on was is making them go back door, making them make those plays, and not allowing them to run their offense. But you got to give them credit. They're, they're as good at executing offensive team as we play in the WAC, and uh, they're really hard to guard. And I thought our guys did a good job um, you know, getting the stops when we needed to and getting the big rebounds when we needed to. And Steven, uh, as far as being limited on minutes and then late in the game, you're isolating, just hitting 18-foot shots. Was that fresh legs? Did that, was there some sort of backwards benefit to that at all? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to get into foul trouble and sit, but um, yeah, I mean, I felt, I felt good in the second half and, um, you know, just been able to get, create some space and get a good shot off. Coach, we talked a lot about throughout the season about with all the new players kind of getting and gelling together. Was, was tonight evidence of, of everyone with all the new players you had coming together as a team? Yeah, no question. Now, this is the best game we've played to this point of the season. Um, when you beat a team like Utah Valley on a neutral court um, in the semifinals of the LAC tournament, you, you can't play a whole lot better. And yeah, we played well tonight. Um, you know, is, our, our team is coming together. We got one more game to play. and. and you know, we'll, we'll go do our work tonight, and these guys will listen tomorrow, and we'll go out and battle whoever at Bakersfield or New Mexico State. Coach, you guys have had a lot of close games this year. Earlier on in the season, they weren't going your way as much, but uh, especially the last few weeks, and obviously these last two games, they have gone your way. What's made the difference for you guys down the stretch in these close games? Well, every, everything evens out, I think. Uh, I don't know if we've done anything different. Maybe that's a question uh, for these guys. Um, I don't know if we've done anything different. Uh, what we've tried to do is come to work every day, grind it every day, and uh, it's a tribute uh, to these guys here. Is, is, uh, they'll tell you, I've been on them hard. I've been pushing them hard for a long period of time, and uh, they've stuck with it and, 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 and battled through everything. And, and what we kept saying was, is, you know, we keep playing like this, we keep ourselves in the, these games, they're going to go our way eventually. And, and now they're starting to, and it's at the perfect time. Coach, I know hypothetical questions are tough for people in your profession, but considering your great ties to Bakersfield, what would it mean if, if they win that going to the NCAA tournament would have to go through them? Uh, I'd never thought of it. But, uh, yeah, that would be a little bittersweet, no question about it. But uh, I really don't care who we play. Um, you know, whether it's New Mexico State or Bakersfield, uh, they're both good teams, both well coached, and, and uh, you know, whoever we play, the Vandals will be ready. Steve, can you take me back to that game at the Key Arena against Seattle and, and you guys lose in, in pretty tough fashion? And What was the mood on, on the bus and, and kind of what did you guys say to each other to, to create the turnaround that you guys are on now? You know, just just worry about the next game. That's all, you know, that's all we do every game. And so, you know, you take a tough loss and keep playing forward. We, we were playing good up to that point and we just, we had a, a rough game there and we just kept it rolling after that and this is the outcome. Another question for Steve, but Mike can jump in on it too. Steve, your fourth year here, you've seen last year we had a dominating inside present this year. We've got, what, nine or ten new players. Talk about the evolution of what you've seen from the turnover from when we had a big guy inside that was all, all world and what you guys have got now and also what you were thinking and how you thought they played in your absence while you were out with foul trouble. I mean, it's definitely tough to lose, you know, great uh, post presence and, you know, all-around player, but the team has really, you know, come together as a team. And even when I wasn't out there, the, the chemistry of the guys working together was able to get, you know, other guys shots and other people involved in the game. And so to make plays, especially like Mike and Suki and Glenn, they, you know, they all stepped up and made great plays, and that's, what we, that's all we can ask of them. Any more questions? All right, thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.